The following trailer is rated H for honest. <laughs> From the depths of Capcom's pile of neglected franchises comes the brand new look for a beloved series that audiences have been waiting for. Finally, Devil May Cry is coming back. Oh yeah, they made a new Mega Man. Mega Man 11. Slip on the iconic pajamas of gaming's favorite metal boy for the umpteenth time as he repeats his iconic role as robot judge, jury, and executioner in his perpetual fight against one old man that they just can't seem to keep in jail. And bust your way through eight more robot masters that they're really running out of concepts for at this point. Until you snap your controller in half because you fell into a pit for the hundredth time. Because despite its modern polish, it's still as frustrating as Mega Man's always been. If I have an aneurysm, tell my family I died as I lived. Furious. Take in Mega Man's fresh new look with buttery smooth 3D levels layered with parallax scrolling backgrounds made up of random girders and blocks just sort of floating in the air that give the game a look somewhere between classic Mega Man and every indie performer on Steam and a visual style that will have you saying, why did it take them so long to do this? I gotta say though, the higher fidelity Mega Man gets, the more I wonder about him wearing underpants over a onesie. Gotta be hard to take a mega dump in that thing. Experience brand new Mega Mechanics that will really grind your gears as Mega Man 11 adds the traditional moves of power stealing, sliding, and using your dog as a trampoline. With a new, unique ability, if you forget about Flashman from Mega Man 2, that will have you switching from slowing down time to powering up shots and special weapons on the fly, allowing them to turn the platforming challenges up to 11, amp up the usually tame boss battles to a ludicrous speed, and give them Super Saiyan forms. In gameplay, they will have you fighting an internal battle between your self-image and your tolerance for pain. Until you give up and crank that down to casual. Okay, look, I'm not proud. I'm just a man who knows his limit, all right? And that limit's name is Yellow Devil. Warp into new trap-filled stages as Wily maintains his trademark sense of interior design with a variety of pitfalls, spikes, and other hazards that are more than happy to take your hard-earned spare heads with some of the most annoying gimmicks to ever grace a Mega Man game that will severely punish you for even the slightest of delays as you run out of meter or burn out your gauge and you're left helpless on a hamster wheel of doom waiting to fall to your death. Or your big ass head gets stuck on a ledge because it was shy two pixels. I mean, come on, what sadist designs a level with a giant pit and bounce mechanics? I'm pretty sure this is what one of the circles of hell looks like. So charge up that buster, Meg all your mans, and suck up all those sweet, juicy powers for a long-awaited sequel that introduces a new twist while mostly staying true to its roots, even if they screwed up the most important thing, letting you stay in the air while the screen scrolls when you jump through a boss door. It's like if you made a Sonic game, but when he gets hit, instead of the ring sound, it displays a big wet fart. Starring Tim Allen in the Santa Claus Loser Frankenstein Rollin', 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 rollin' Don't look at my nipples. Red Rocket. Robox Man. O'Reilly Auto Parts Man. Bomber Man. Burning Man. Yuri on Ice Man. Oh, something about this guy is just incredibly epic and sexy. I just can't put my finger on it. Pointy Man. It's a fing yoga ball? And Meganista Man. Time Cop 11. Wait, so the reason that Dr. Wily is constantly trying to destroy the world was because Dr. Light was kind of a dick to him in college? Yeah, I can relate to that.